Good morning everyone, it's The Wanderer here on this lovely hot spring day and speaking of hot, things are just going to get a little bit hotter. Now if you watched the last video, you may recall that I said this uh, with some teriyaki balls, so I've never had teriyaki balls before. Just as I finished the last teriyaki balls. No, 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 not that one. This. Would you guys believe me if I told you I've never had a Nando's before? Yes, that's right. I am on my way to have my very first Nando's today. And not the one that's at the Oracle. There's actually one that's closer to home. So I'm going to take you there now, try out some of their Nando's chicken. Apparently it's very good. Everyone I've told at work who I've said, I've never had a Nando's before. They always look at me like I'm some kind of madman. Uh, probably like the people in these houses are. So I better make a very, very quick move uh, to the nearest Nando's. And I'm going to be going absolutely hot. I've been told if you're going to do Nando's, you've got to do it right try their absolutely hottest sauce. What could go wrong? I'm The Wanderer, guys. If you do like this kind of stuff, do hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified as to when I upload new videos. And with that being said, guys, Nando's, let's make a move. That's slightly depressing, you know. That Toys R Us was open for about three, four weeks before the franchise went under. And that building's been stood there ever since with the big now open. It's been like that for years. Although, with the word that Toys R Us could be coming back, will they get that building back? I do wonder. bird they open at half 11 it's only 25 past so i'm just going to sit out here nice seating area actually to just uh, uh show you around over here so i could eat it outside i guess but uh, i'm going to go indoors because it looks like they've got some nice booths nice little um state of privacy in there which if you're going to be going for the hottest sauce privacy probably the best bet Hi there, you're right. Um, I'd like to put an order for on table 10, if that's okay. Table 10? Table 10. Can I go for the uh, butterfly chicken with two sides? I think, can I go for a uh, butterfly? Can I go for the hottest, please? Extra hot, please, yeah. Uh, what other sides do you have then? So we've got um, garlic bread, yep. chips, rice, coleslaw, salad, mashed peas, mash, broccoli, Okay, I think I'll go for the... Corn. I'll go for corn, yeah, that's no problem, cheers. So you wanted the chips and corn? Chips and corn, yeah, please, thank you. Okay. And that's butterfly extra hot. Butterfly yeah. extra hot. Uh, yes, please, can I have a Coca-Cola? Is that everything? That's everything, thank you. So you can definitely tell it's my first time here. Um, no idea what they have on the sides. Maybe I should read the menu, that would be a good idea. Service, however, you heard the conversation yourself. Happy to give that a five. Do I give too many fives on service? Maybe I'm too friendly, but for, for me, it's just what I would expect. Service five at this Nando is absolutely fantastic. And the next thing then is the time scale. Uh, my host was Samantha, you got a five, so very well done. Uh, ordered at 11.34, the time is now 11.38. So that was four minutes ago. 10 minute, uh, so 10 minute, God, that, that's horrible, isn't it? 15 minute countdown starts at 11.34. Fingers crossed they can get another five.
Okay, everyone, well, I'm really happy to report that the music started as well, so I need to be very careful to avoid copyright. But it's here, and I can smell the heat, and it actually came in literally in 10 minutes. So on the time, you've got yourself another five. Um, I think we're going to have a look at this, but as I said, I can feel the heat. In fact, so much, the coat has to come off, but the wonder of beanie stays on. The beanie always stays on. Let's have a look. So let's talk presentation then before I dig in and I'm actually very very nervous it has to be said. Presentation I think it's not a five, not a five, it's just chip seemed a little bit slapped on, I don't know, I, I think it's down the middle, we'll give it three on the presentation but I think I said it last time, presentation really doesn't matter and I'm always a best for last kind of guy so we'll start off with a chip, more of a fry, so I want to gauge it against sort of McDonald's, KFC, Burger King, let's have a look. They're all right. They're um, a little bit, a little bit on the um, plain, plain side. I think the, the fry, but okay. A little bit of um, corn on the cob here. Mm. I love sweet corn. Funnily enough, when I was a kid in school, and if there was ever a time I did hot dinners. Everyone else would always go for the chips and the meat or whatever. I was always the corn and peas person. I don't know why. I'm delaying the inevitable, basically. Here we go. The hottest sauce. <laughs> basically, when it comes to spice, go big or go home. We're going big. That's instant. That is instant, but it's, yeah, the kick's really coming in. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. There is a kick, but I thought their hottest would be, you know, maybe, shall I make it worse? Shall I make it worse? Let's have a second one. <laughs> There was just enough in that to say as well, the chicken itself is really good. The chicken is, you know, I'm gauging it by fast food scale. The chicken's better than KFC chicken, so I'll give it that. But now I've just slapped on a lot more extra hot, so here we go. I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Actually, once again, the initial kick was making me think, oh my god, this is going to be hell. There is still a kick in there, but the worst of it is over. So I have to say, if you're going to do it, do the extra hot. If you make a bit of spice, it's not that bad. It's actually not that bad. I'm going to do a time-lapse finish on this and rate my very first Nando's experience outside. But I think it's good. I think it is good. Mission complete, as they say, the um, really hot sauce is really starting to kick in now. It's like a late kick. I'm gonna take advantage of the free refills of the Coke. I'll be right back. Oh my word. Every time I swallow, I feel like the remnants of the hot sauce. At first it wasn't that bad. I have to say, at first it wasn't that bad, but now my throat is saying, why did you do this to me? <laughs> and I have to only apologize to it. I'm just going to stick around and have a slow on this because it's it's helping somewhat. 
but then as soon as the cold coke goes down, the heat wants to come back out. It's really good though. Right, I think now that Nando's has been conquered, maybe I'll have to try my hand at foul or something. No, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Right then everyone, as I say, uh, went outside to do the, the final score and I had to take advantage of the bottomless again and go for a third Coke because it's, it, it's only just starting to go away now, the heat. Um, but let's rate the experience and let's go for taste. Now, I have to say, um, before I ate the first chip, I was going to gauge it on the fast food scale where I think McDonald's do the best chips, Burger King second, KFC third. And I think the Nando's fries, they they go lower than, than um, the KFC in my opinion. The chips were very bland. You may have noticed I took the extra hot sauce and, and peppered it all over those chips. So I thought that was, um, you know, that, that gave it a bit of flavour, but I ain't going to add points to the chips for sauce that I've added. Corn on the cob was really nice though, better than KFC's corn on the cob, I really enjoyed that. The corn took me back to when I was in primary school and had the veg on the hot dinners. The corn was just perfect, uh, you know, I can't fault the corn. Chicken without the sauce was really good, I was expecting it to be dry. I thought the chicken flavour was just going to be made up by the hot sauce, but no, what I could taste of the chicken was really, really good and the hot sauce. What can I say about the hot sauce? I mean, I think if you come to Nando's, you've got to do it. You've got to do it big. You've got to, you've got to go extra hot. And, and as I say, I mean, I can't remember what time I finished that, but I'm going to be feeling it for a while. I feel like the chips let it down. I want to give a taste. I want to give the taste a four. A four out of five, which is still very good. I think if the chips were better, it would have been a five. Uh, so we have... Five service, five time, three presentation, four taste. That's 17 out of 20 on Nando. 17 out of 20. Divide that by two. 8.5 out of 10. That's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all. I'd do it again, 100%. So with that being said, guys, if you do like this kind of stuff, hit like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified. I'm The Wanderer, and until next time, bye for now.